As many of you know, Sunday morning about three o'clock, somebody threw some bombs inside my house. Normally, I wouldn't get excited over a few bombs, but the ones who threw these not only aimed them in rooms where there, where there was no one, but aimed them in rooms where three of my daughters sleep. One daughter six, one daughter four, and one daughter two. I heard on the news today that Joseph, a brother that I found in the garbage can in Detroit in 1952, well, that's where I found him, uh, made the statement that uh, I had bombed my own house. Now, you see, this doesn't surprise me because I know that since many of us left the Muslim movement, its intelligence and its morals have gone bankrupt. Both its intelligence and its morals have gone bankrupt. And now they are using the same tactic that's used by the Ku Klux Klan. When the Klan bombs your church, they say you did it. When they bomb the synagogue, they say the Jews bombed their own synagogue. This is the Klan tactic. And tonight, I'll tell you why the black Muslim movement is now adopting the same tactics against black people as has been up to now the exclusive method of the Ku Klux Klan. I want to point out too that I'm not talking about Muslims just to make white people happy because I don't believe in letting anyone use me against somebody else. I'm telling you these things because it has reached a point where I feel that black people in this country need to know what's going on. And I'm talking about an organization which I had a hand in building, which I had a hand in organizing. 